it's Jaylee. Welcome back to my channel. And today I have my Pan Matte Palette number 5, I'm pretty sure, um, update. And we're just going to go through a few things first. One, I want to thank Thrifty Beauty or Paige so much. She put me in her um, product panner shout out video. And ever since that video, I went from like 250 subscribers to 326 I'm pretty sure something like that the amount of subscribers that I have gotten from her shout out video is so immense and I cannot thank her enough so thank you Paige you guys if you're not subscribed to her you should be she makes great videos she also has an advice channel called no fluff advice and I personally enjoy watching her videos so you guys should check her out second I got a tattoo you guys can't tell if you didn't notice before um I can't really show you we just like do it like that no that doesn't work um it says defy reality with a double infinity under it if you guys want a video of me explaining more about that and about my tattoo let me know down below and now let's just get started on my pan that palette update so I have been panning my wet n wild comfort zone palette if you haven't been subscribed to me very long or watching my videos but I've been doing the comfort zone palette since kind of July of last year I was focusing on it but the beginning of this year I have been dedicated to it I've been using it every single day in some way shape or form and I have found different ways to use it if I don't like the eyeshadow on my eyes and we'll explain that more but I'm very excited to tell you that I finished another shadow. You guys see that? So I have three pans that are completely cleaned out. And I cannot explain to you how excited I am about that. This is the first shade I finished up. It was a really nice bronzy shade, which I miss a lot, actually. I wish they sold this, sold this in a single. Because I would buy it so much I love it it's a great shadow then I finished this one up here which was just a really light kind of champagne ish um kind of just like a highlight color I finished that I want to say I finished that last month and then I finished this sorry I heard people talking um, and I just finished this pink shade today, actually, which I'm very excited about, which is why I made this video, because I usually make them the beginning of the month, sometime around there, but I don't think I'm going to make very much progress within the next, like, what, two days? So, yes, I have finished three out of my eight shadows, which I'm very, very excited for. Um, if you guys don't know, I don't... I'm not going to force myself to finish some of these shadows because I know it will be really, really difficult for me to. So I am plan on finishing this silver shade up here. And then I'm just going to work on these last four shades. Which I'm also very excited to tell you that I pit pan on the last two shades. You can see up in the corner. I pit pan on those two shades. So I'm just going to give you a quick rundown of how I've been using them. So this silver shade has been... Um, a lid color and an inner corner highlight mostly. I have used it as like a cheek highlight, but if you use too much of it, you see like the silver-ish tone and it kind of makes your face look kind of wonky. So I've been doing that. This green shade I've been putting under my lower lash line and I've been using it to blend out um, this shade right here, this dark green shade that I've been using in my crease. So these two I've been mixing together mostly and using them that way. This brown shade right here, as you can see, I've made some more progress in it. Um, a little bit of it did chip off, and I'm also working, I don't know if you can tell, I don't think you can see, but I've started working in the more middle of it to see if I can hit pan again. And I've been using this um, to, I don't want to say like outline my brows, but put like a dark outline on the bottom of my brows to make them more defined. And this does have shimmer in it, but if you tap it off, 
all of that comes off and then you just have, you'll you will just have the brown pigment and it's actually really really nice so that's how I've been using that one and this one since I've hit pan I truthfully haven't really touched I probably should but I'm not gonna force myself to finish these four shades because I know I won't I don't use them as often but I want to make as much progress as I can and we're going to be introducing a new pan that palette woo um I have decided that I want to try and finish panning my Physicians, Physicians Formula Matte Collection Quad Eyeshadow in Canyon Classics. And I think in my first project pan, I want to say, I like my first ever project pan, I wanted to finish this cream shade, which I did. I finished that. And I decided that I wanted to try and just pan another small little, this is now a trio, um, but my, this little quad to get it out of my collection. And since I finished my e.l.f. eyebrow kit, which is in which was in my project pan, I've been using this for my brows mostly. As you can see, I started this in the beginning of the May, so if you watch my, um, it's, the, it's titled Three Palettes One Month um, video, you'll see what I started with. So I've hit pan on this one since you guys have seen it if you watched that video. And I've made a really decent dent in it. I've been using this as a crease shade and in my brows. This one I've been using in like my outer um, third of my eye just to darken up the look. I did that today. It's not very noticeable. It's really not that pigmented. pigmented so that kind of sucks. But I mean, it could be worse. Um... And then this one, I've decided that I'm going to hold off on a little bit until I finish my um, Fit Me powder that I'm using as a bronzer. That's my project pan. Once I finish that, I think I'm going to use this as a bronzer because it's more cool toned or like a contour type thing. I plan on using it like that, so this one we just have to wait on. But yeah, so I'm throwing this into my pan that palette. I'm very excited to give you guys updates now on two palettes. And hopefully I can get two palettes out of my collection by the end of this year. So I'll give you a quick look what this one looks like. And just another quick look on my Wet n Wild one. Okay. And I hope you guys enjoyed. I will talk to you guys later. I think my next video will be my product pan update, and I'm very excited to show you guys that. And yeah, I hope you guys enjoy this video. Leave me comments down below, like, th thumbs up this video if you liked it, and I'll see you later. Bye.